Hello friends, this is Shanmukh. I am an IT trainer guys. So I am going to start a new batch on regularly used software tools in the IT industry. So this batch is going to start from 19th September and it will be there for 5 days up to 23rd September. So the duration is 5 days guys. Classes will be on Monday to Friday morning 7 to 8.30 am. So who can learn this course? Anyone can learn this course. Those who are trying for an IT jobs. Okay, those who want to settle in the IT jobs. Okay, so these are very important tools, very regularly used tools in the IT industry, guys. So it's not like it's a specific to any technology. It's not like that. Okay, if you are from any technology, these are the most common, commonly used tools in the organization, and you should have very good experience in these tools, guys. Why? Because most of the people are going to try as a as an experienced people like three years four years five years so they are going to manage the fake experience right so these are the commonly used tools so if you are keeping five years or four years of experience if you don't know how to handle these tools then it will create some problems to you so that's why everyone from any technology can learn this course it's it's not limited to any specific technology guys okay those who want to enter into IT, they should learn these tools and all. Okay, so what we are going to discuss in these five days. Okay, so our main concentration is on ticketing tools, guys. Okay, so we are going to discuss the most commonly used ticketing tools, okay, which is ServiceNow and Jira. These are like uh, 80 percentage. I, I can say like 90 percentage of the companies will use either ServiceNow and Jira ticketing tool in their organization. So what is this ticketing tool, How? what are the tickets, what, what types of tickets are there, how to handle the tickets, how to assign the tickets, how to close the tickets, how to assign the tickets to some other person, some other team, okay. So what are, what are incidents, what are change requests, what are uh, uh, request items, what are the C tasks, what are SC tasks, okay, what are problem tickets, all these things we are going to discuss, okay. Uh, in this particular ticketing tool concept guys okay so this is like ticketing tools so the most commonly used ticketing tool is service now then jira people are using jira right so i'll concentrate more on service now and i'll touch jira as well okay so after this ticketing tools discussion is over then we are going to discuss on mail servers okay so we'll use outlook as the main mail mail server guys in the organization 90, 95% I can say or 99% people are going to use Outlook mails only. So you should be good in handling Outlook. It's, it's, it's like a kind of a Gmail but the layout, the interface, everything is different. So how to use Outlook, how to create and send meeting invitations. Mainly guys, once you, are, once you got the job in the IT industry, managers or team leads or your colleagues will ask you to schedule a meeting. Hey, can you please schedule a meeting for KD? Can you please send an invitation? So they will ask you to create a meeting. So if you don't know how to create the meeting, so it will create some problems, right? So that's why, okay, so we are going to discuss about the Outlook, sending and receiving the mails in the Outlook and how to send it. It's not like say send and receive it. It's not a, a big thing. It's, it's simple only, but what kind of terminologies you have to use what are the precautions okay what are the do's and don'ts while sending the emails setting up the signatures professional signatures and all sending invitations to your colleagues or your managers or team leads how to set up an invitation okay so sometimes we should set up that uh, OOO emails, OOO means uh, out of office emails, OOO emails. So we should set up that OOO emails, how to send a, a real time like emails. For example, you're working, on a, you're working on an incident, that how to respond immediately once you took the ticket, how to respond for the update, how to respond once you closed the ticket. What kind of real time terminologies you are going to use, people are, people are very smart the way that you are writing an email by using that email also the words that you are using in that email also they can easily found whether you are a real-time guy or you are a fake employee fake guy 
so it's very important so what kind of words we have to use in the mails and all emails and all okay so all all things i'm going to cover under uh, discussion on mails mail servers and all guys okay and uh, communicator tools like we are going to use communicator tools or meeting tools like zoom <coughs> zoom meeting google meet especially teams okay teams guys okay so mostly we'll use teams and then we'll use google chat so these are the most commonly used tools uh, for communication so we are going to chat with the uh, colleagues employees <coughs> users and uh, what else um, uh, clients okay so we are going to uh, chat with uh, we are going to chat with them by using these tools okay and uh, we are going to meet meet them using these tools like zoom meetings google meetings team meet, teams meetings and all okay so how to use this teams meetings google meet so we are going to discuss all these things even zoom also how to use that so how to share the screen okay sometimes you have to share the screen okay to your manager or lead or your colleagues so you should know how to share the screen and believe me guys it's a, it's a it's a small thing only uh, you some people might wonder why he is teaching this sharing the screen it's a small thing only but believe me without knowing these things also people lost their jobs okay so this is a small thing only but you kept an experience of 4 years 5 years of experience and you are saying if you don't know to share the screen or you are taking some time to share the screen immediately your colleagues are going to caught you guys okay so it's very important it's a small thing only but you should know and uh, sharing the screens in these meeting softwares how to share the screens what precautions you have to like maintain what precautions you have to follow while sharing the screen it's very important guys when you share the screen immediately okay so what happened sometimes people don't know how to share the screen they will open the google they will check the check in the google how to share the screen okay fine now they came to know then they, immediately they will share the screen without closing their browser once you share that screen automatically your manager or your colleague can see that you searched how to share the screen in the teams he can easily see whatever you searched in that particular browser you can see that particular browser on his screen so immediately he can caught you guys so these kind of precautions are there like this lot of things we are going to discuss okay so the precautions while sharing the screen all these things we'll discuss guys okay and the do's and don'ts with the colleagues do's and don'ts with the colleagues we are going to discuss and income tax filing insurance and food cards declaration how to fill the income tax once you are into any company once you got the job okay so immediately you will get some links guys okay you have to fill the income tax and all even though you joined in the middle of the year at any time of the year okay so you have to declare the income tax so it's very important if you don't declare the income tax you are going to pay a lot of money as a as a taxes guys so what precautions you have to take how to file the income tax okay in the company portals and all <clears throat> what are the main things that you have to keep in mind while filling this income tax and insurance also you have to fill guys how to add the dependents and all okay what precautions you have to like uh, um, you have to do like while while filling this insurance and all what precautions you have to follow so all these things will de will discuss and also food cards declaration sometimes you have to declare the food cards then only you are going to get the food card like sodexo and all okay if you don't declare what happened the uh, the amount will be credited to your salary but it's a taxable amount if you declare as a food card of course we are going to use we'll we'll go to uh, supermarkets reliance uh, more and all we are going to do some shopping right some we are going to take uh, some food items right or else we are going to order some uh, some items in the zomato okay or swiggy so for this at least we'll use our money right so so food card is always very useful if you don't declare it of course they are going to like uh, give you the money to you but it will be taxable so how to declare the food cards what precautions you have to follow while declaring the food cards and all so we will we'll discuss guys so kt preparation this is very important kt preparation shadowing reverse shadowing how to prepare for kt okay what precautions you have to follow uh, if they are shadowing you are like uh, reverse shadowing and all they are doing reverse shadowing and all 
okay so it's very important guys so you, sometimes you have to follow them sometimes they are going to shadow you so how you are doing and all so it's very important so what precautions you have to take while while taking the kt from the colleagues what things you have to ask mainly the preparation guys kt okay sometimes if you if you are not asking simply listening whatever they are saying they will get the doubt why this guy is not asking any doubts okay then from from that point onwards once they got the doubt now everyone in the team will alert guys okay they will keep okay shadowing you they will they will keep uh, doubting you whether this guy is a real guy or fake guy so the way that you are asking the questions okay the the type of questions you are asking in the kt is also very important so they will observe you whether you are asking any questions or not so what kind of questions you have to ask in the kt so all these things we are going to discuss under kt preparation shadowing and our shadowing guys tracking of all your work for future performance reviews so it's also very important so from the day one onwards okay uh, you have to track your work what you are doing okay what you are doing and all and uh, filling the time sheets uh, am i included this time sheets uh, mandatory trainings are included okay right so filling the time sheets as well okay so filling the time sheets <coughs> so all these things you should know guys okay so you have to track your performance you have to maintain some other different tracker that on what tickets you worked why because quarterly half yearly yearly performance reviews will happen guys with your manager so they will ask you hey what you did since last 3 months okay what you did since last 1 year okay so if you don't know if you don't have that tracker how you are going to tell like sir i worked these many tickets okay i got this many customer uh, appreciations i got these many appreciation mails how you are going to convey to your manager or lead so it's very important to track your work performance and also how to track those things and all how to fill the time sheets it's very important to fill the time sheets guys if you don't fill the time sheets uh, they they are going to be like escalated guys immediately your your manager your director will come into the picture and they will ask you hey why didn't you fill the time sheets so how to fill the time sheets and all we are going to discuss guys of course uh, these are internal tools time sheets for time sheets and all people will use companies will use different different tools that i cannot show you how to fill but uh, what precautions you have to take okay and <clears throat> what 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 uh, what options you have to follow while filling the time sheets and all it's very important so i am going to tell you all these things regarding this time sheets and all guys mandatory training initially you have to complete lot of mandatory trainings during onboarding and all okay and after onboarding also you have to complete lot of mandatory training and those mandatory trainings are like you have to pass also with 90 percentage some exams you have to pass with 100 percentage also all the questions should write should be right so what what kind of mandatory trainings will be there okay how to um succeeded in the mandatory trainings what what precautions you have to follow and um uh, how to answer those questions okay so everything we are going to discuss under mandatory trainings to complete guys okay so these are very common for all the guys uh as a, a, a short discussion on the sorry a short discussion on the background verification bgc background check background verification so uh, what is this bgc how they are going to perform this bgc what precautions you have to follow while while bgc is going on okay so how you to, yeah, how how you have to answer okay for bg questions and all right so very important guys this is for successful bg it's very important if the bg is red then you will be in trouble so um, all these things we are going to cover under this precautions for successful bg so hints to get succeeded guys this course is mainly concentrates how to survive in the it industry first thing the main motto is initially for the first one two months people are going to shadow you a lot okay everyone from starting from security guard to your manager everyone from the day one onwards everyone is going to keep an eye on you guys okay for the first one to two months so if you are if you are able to survive for the first one to two months by taking these kind of precautions then after three third month onwards no issues for you mostly 
third month onwards you will be in safe position okay so what hints like i am going to tell you the hints and all apart from this surviving in the it okay after that how to succeed in the it also we'll discuss in this course this course mainly discuss in two areas first thing is how to survive in the it okay how to survive in the second thing is once you survived how to succeed in the it what are the ways you have to follow to be succeeded how to like get a promotions so all these things we are going to cover in this course guys okay so these are the different topics that we should cover to achieve these two things okay so hints to get succeed in the job like continuous learning uh, and checking the old tickets customer comments for if you don't know how to fix these tickets you have to check the old tickets guys so these kind of hints and all we'll discuss okay so improve the communication skills for the for the promotions and also all these things are very important so i am going to cover this also okay uh, how to succeed in the it job and all so managing client calls and meetings some people most of the people like will face this kind of things guys how to talk with the client i can't understand whatever they are talking right us uk sent australian sent i i can't understand so in that way how to respond to them how to understand their whatever they are talking so there are some tips guys so we are going to discuss these things okay managing client calls and meetings how to respond in the meeting if anyone is pointing you or some us guys are talking you can't understand how to how to understand those things what are the tips okay i'm going to show you guys so there are some important tips i'll show you so managing client calls and meetings so i'm going to show you all these things apart from this we'll use regularly regularly used shortcuts will be there so these are all like regularly used shortcuts guys <coughs> so we'll discuss all these things okay so this is how we are going to cover okay this is how we are going to cover so apart from this in case if you want anything of course i'm going to include during the course guys so the very important course again again it's it's a very important course so if you are interested guys you can send a whatsapp message to me or you can send an email to me so better if you send a whatsapp message to this number okay so it will be like uh, i can respond immediately okay so my whatsapp number is like double nine zero two okay five nine zero and one four zero and which is um, <coughs> Uh, like uh, this is my whatsapp number double nine zero two five nine zero one four zero and you can call to this number or you can you can send a whatsapp message to this number i'll respond immediately if you are unable to reach me in this number you can send an email to this uh, real time it training at the gmail.com guys if you are interested okay so we'll discuss and i'm going to start the batch from the 19th september guys okay so next week probably so classes will be for one week guys so just call me if you have any questions okay and we'll discuss about the fee part and all okay so in the chat or call or you can send an email also to this real time it training at the rate gmail.com guys okay thank you all